Blackie. Blackie. Okay. <coughs> Are you ready to dive back into the dark and twisted world of Venom? We just got a hot new teaser for Venom The Last Dance. The symbiote is back in the big screen, and this time it looks like Eddie Brock is facing his biggest threat yet. Is this The Last Dance for Venom? We'll have to wait and see. But in the meantime, let's break down this teaser frame by frame and see what clues we can uncover about the upcoming film. Was that carnage we spotted in the shadows? Is there a multiverse connection? The trailer opens in a stunning Mexican location revealed in set photos back in June 2023. Rafferty warns, don't get lost. A fitting message before Eddie Brock enters the scene. He's wearing the same outfit from the previous Venom movie in the Spider-Man. Back in the present, Eddie uses Venom's hand to break a lock. We see barking dogs and men aiming guns at Eddie, one with a wolf belt buckle, another with a scorpion jacket print, and the last with a symbiote-like buckle. These could be Sony's version of villains like Scorpion, Tarantula, and maybe John Jonah Jameson's son. It seems Eddie is about to face a possible cartel who doesn't recognize him. Venom kicks a man while Eddie surprisingly wears Crocs. Venom absorbs bullets as they unleash a dog who attacks an ankle. In a cool tag team move, Venom extends Eddie, puppeteering him to fight back. The scene ends with them united, Venom growling its name. This scene is a fun throwback to the first Venom movie, showing the odd couple dynamic of Eddie and Venom is alive and well. Venom even chows down on some bad guys in a gloriously unrated fashion. We see Eddie's style evolve from Crocs to cowboy boots, accompanied by some new canine companions. A perfect evolution for our favorite bickering deal. The trailer finally opens with David Bowie's Space Oddity, mirroring Eddie and Venom's uncertain journey as they face an extraterrestrial threat. We then transition to a very Area 51-esque military base. The familiar truck from the beginning speeds past, driven by none other than Juno Temple. Previously known for Key Jones and Ted Lasso, is Dr. <laughs> Comics character Thane Sinclair, who experimented on Eddie. Dr. Bane's Roswell, New Mexico t-shirt with a UFO is a cool touch, hinting at her fascination with the unknown. We also meet a soldier named Chef. No, not MTO. This is a secure military facility holding an area of different colored symbiotes under various lights. Some resemble fan favorites like Scream, Reddish Yellow, and Lasher, Greenish Yellow hinting at the potential arrival of the Life Foundation's symbiote spawns. While the Life Foundation itself appeared in the first movie, this doesn't rule out the possibility of these iconic symbiotes emerging from a different entity. The trailer leaves the origin of the new symbiotes ambiguous. They could be fragments jet by Venom or entirely new life forms. We see a shadowy figure, possibly Agent Weeing, retrieve the symbiote residue left behind in the No Way Home mid-credits scene. The trailer erupts with Venom's guttural roar. A primal sound that is both terrified and excited. It's Eddie Brock's older, rougher partner in crime, and their dynamic remains a twisted delight. As the title card flashes, this fall, one thing's for sure. October is about to get messy, and likely R-rated, with another Venom movie. The action cuts to a scene ripped straight from a comic book panel. Military operatives rapple after Venom, plunging into the water. One soldier clutches a strange weapon, hinting at the jury, a group from the comics known for their diverse gadgets. We get a glimpse of these weapons in action later, crackling with electricity as they try to subdue Venom. Did you catch that? The device on the soldier's wrist looks suspiciously like a battery amp pulse blast, a weapon used by Eddie's enemy, Agent Venom. It begs the question. Are these prototype weapons specifically designed for symbiote threats or crude adaptations of existing technology? One thing is certain, these soldiers are outmatched. Detective Mulligan, another victim of symbiote possession, might fall prey to their tactics, but Venom? Not a chance. As David Bowie's iconic space oddity blasts in the background, a sense of impending doom hangs heavy. This military might isn't equipped for the horrors to come. Every weapon they wield seems <laughs> <laughs> The song's lyrics take 
find unsettling near me. This is Major Tom to ground control. I'm stepping through the door. Can this truly be Wenham's final chapter? Will Eddie and his symbiote partner be forced to part ways forever? The trailer then takes a dramatic shift, transporting us to the dazzling spectacle of Las Vegas fireworks. We see a breathtaking panorama of iconic landmarks, the Park MGM, the Hilton Grand, the Trump Tower, Treasure Island. It feels almost apocalyptic, like a final send-off to the city's vibrant life. Remember how the trailer started in Mexico? It seems Eddie has traveled a long way. Perhaps hitchhiking through Arizona, a grueling 26 to 27 hour journey depending on his location in Mexico to reach this neonosis. Exhausted, he finally rests his head on a pillow, the glittering skyline reflected in his weary eyes. The same pillow reappears later with a weary Eddie in a suit seemingly Eddie. outside the machine. Eddie! Often, we are mentioned. Suddenly, Miss Chen, a familiar face from the previous movie, the first crossover appears. Dressed in a vibrant red dress, she's trying her luck at the slot machines. Her presence throws another curveball. Is this a business meeting? A fleeting moment of joy amidst the chaos? The trailer leaves more questions than answers. Venom's underwater struggle raises the stakes, while the Vegas scenes hint at a personal journey for Eddie. Miss Chen's unexpected cameo only adds to the mystery. Will Eddie find an unlikely ally in this glittering city of sin, or is she drawn into the web of symbiote dangers? One thing's for sure, October can't come soon enough. Let there be carnage become a chaotic reality, and it seems, let there be mayhem will be Venom's rallying cry this fall. Brace yourselves because the symbiote saga is about to get explosive. The trailer throws several intriguing characters into the mix. We see Miss Chen, a recurring presence Thank in Eddie's life, and their playful dance hints at a deeper connection. This heartwarming moment is juxtaposed with the sight of Detective Mulligan in a hazmat suit, a clear sign of his transformation into Toxin, the symbiote from the comics. Another surprise appearance is Dr. Kurt Connors, also known as the Lizard, returning after his stint in No Way Home. Interestingly, his co-star previously mentioned a desire to see Lizard fight Venom, and it seems that Wish is coming true. Whether this is the same Connors or a variant remains to be seen. The trailer then takes a head-spinning turn, and after glimpses of what might be a Venom variant and a mysterious young boy in the back of a WAN, we see a symbiote attacking a helicopter. Eddie's bewildered reaction, there has to be a reason there after us, suggests this completely clueless. <laughs> The trailer ends on this cliffhanger, leaving us with more questions than answers. One thing's for sure, the upcoming Venom movie promises a wild ride filled with familiar faces, surprising encounters, and a potential intergalactic threat. We'll have to wait until October to see how it Venom! ends. Venom! The trailer hints at a cosmic threat looming over Venom. Eddie might be mistaken for another alien creature no. due to his imposing Venom! size and origin. Remember, he comes from the planet Klintar a hive world for symbiotes. Meteors streak across the sky, suggesting a potential extraterrestrial invasion. This aligns with the symbiote network that connects all symbiotes, potentially drawing them to Earth in pursuit of Venom. Meanwhile, Detective Mulligan undergoes a full transformation, his eyes glowing a chilling blue. His ominous declaration, as long as Venom lives, everything, everyone will end, sets the stage for a desperate struggle. That's all we have for the teaser of Venom. The last dance. And already, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Thanks for watching.